Hi, welcome to another installment in the Simbit Energy Harvesting video series. Today we're talking about harvesting flow. And you can see here we have some duct work and the air is flowing through the system as it would in a normal building. In the air duct we've placed a little turbine to, to harvest the airflow energy going by. So you can see this is spinning around with the air coming by, creating electricity that's being routed out to a module on the side of the duct work. Now this module here is an energy harvesting module from Simbit that has the advanced electronics to take the electricity coming from the turbine and very efficiently convert it into energy to be used by this sensor. This sensor here has two Enerchip thin film batteries on it to be able to store the energy and then that module that has the Enerchips also has the electronics to drive this Texas Instruments uh, sensor and the wireless sensor has an MSP430 along with a CC2500 radio and it's essentially an, an 802.15.4 Zigbee radio but we're running the uh, simplicity protocol in this case because it's a nice lean protocol to transmit the information and when you're doing energy harvesting you always want to watch to make sure you're using the least amount of energy possible to do the work you want to do. Now this one is sensing temperature but you have a lot of other sensors such as airflow, air quality that you can integrate into the system for this sensor point. And so what we've done is combining the turbine along with the energy harvesters, we've created an autonomous wireless sensor. And these can be placed out throughout your building or your factory or any place you might be doing processing where you want to go ahead and have these little autonomous sensors sensing the environment. Now, of course, you have a lot of those sensors. You'll want to use some software to track what's going on with those sensors. And here we've got a wireless access point and we've got four other sensors besides this one running in this area. And the sensor that we're looking at here, this yellow device, is uh, the airflow turbine. And I'm going to stop the turbine because when I'm getting energy from the energy harvesting, the bubble is yellow. But when I stop it, it's going to run off the air chips. And when it does that, the bubble will report in as blue. And so there we go, we saw the change. So now the energy harvester is being running off the inner chips, supplying the power to the wireless sensor. And depending on how you design your network, that can drive the sensor for a very long time until the energy returns. So in this case, we're going to get the turbine spinning again and the airflow and the ductwork. And we're going to see that the bubble will turn yellow again, showing that we're running off of energy harvesting in the ductwork. And there we go. So this is an exciting way to trap the free energy that's available, for instance, in ductwork. Another, of course, great example is putting this in pipes as you're getting liquid flow. These kinds of sensors can be mounted, say, in plates, for instance. You can see here we took one of our proof of concepts and just placed it in a simple plate. You can see how thin it is, but you can also see there's a great deal of opportunity for optimization of this device to shrink these things down. But one of the key things is the Simbit Enerchips. Since you can surface mount these devices in the reflow tolerant, you can actually integrate right electronics, make these devices very, very small. So you'll be able to hide these all sorts of other places. Also on the Simbit website, I encourage you to stop by and get a copy of the Zero Power Wireless Sensor White Paper. This talks through these kinds of architectures and the things you need to be aware of when you're building autonomous wireless sensors. It'll talk about how you can do solar and piezo, thermal, and of course you should stop by and, and take a look at some of the videos on those transducers we have as well. So we look forward to working with you on your energy harvesting projects. Feel free to give us a call at any time and we'll talk to you soon.